This is Nessa on ESL Top 10. One of the first lessons I ever created was about the verb get. Why? Because by using get in your everyday English, you sound more natural, more informal. So in today's lesson, we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to take a look at the verb take. Because the verb take is so common and there are so many phrases that use the verb take, I couldn't put them all in this video. So make sure you get your free PDF that includes an extra 10 phrases with the verb take. So you'll learn 20. Now here we go, starting with number one, take it easy. What do you do after work? Ah, I just go home usually and take it easy. What are you doing tonight? You want to go to the party? Ah, I think I'll just stay home and take it easy. Thank you. What did you do on the weekend? Oh, I was a little bit sick, so I just kind of took it easy. Take it easy means relax. If your friend is really stressed out, you could say, listen, just take it easy. It's going to be okay. Number two, to take something. Oh, I can't take this rain. To take means to tolerate, to handle something difficult. How can you take the noise? The construction next door is so loud. So to take means to handle. Number three, to take something or someone for granted. This expression means to not appreciate something or someone, to not be grateful when you should. So you might take your health for granted until you get sick. You might, if you're young, you're probably taking your youth for granted. And make sure you don't take your best friend for granted. Make sure you call them today and say, I love you and thank you for being such an awesome friend. Number four. So what's your take on this last election? Someone's take is a way of saying their opinion. Hey, what's your take on this project we're working on? Do you think it's gonna succeed? You can give your take on something and it means you are expressing your opinion. Number five, there's two here because the object changes the meaning. So let's start with take advantage of something. To take advantage of something means you don't waste an opportunity. You don't waste a chance. So um, take advantage of the beautiful weather and go for a walk. Or if you're living in a country where everyone speaks English, take advantage of that and practice your speaking and listening skills. To take advantage of someone has a negative meaning. It means you're using someone or a group of people for your own benefit. So um, someone may try and take advantage of you by lying to you and try to get your money. Or a big company, if they refuse to pay their workers a decent living wage, you could say they're taking advantage of their employees. <laughs> Number six, just take your time. With this video, you can take your time. It means you don't need to hurry. Take your time. It's an expression. So um, if your friend is getting ready to go to the go out for dinner and she's a little bit slow and she's like, I'm so sorry, I'll be there in two minutes. Just give me two minutes. You can say, don't worry, take your time. It's okay, you don't have to hurry. Number seven, a phrasal verb, take off. Like many phrasal verbs, this one has multiple meanings and I am gonna give you a couple right here. So take off can mean to remove. Like if you get in and you have your jacket on, you'll take it off, right? Because you don't want to wear it in your house. Um, you have a painting on the wall, but you don't want it there. You wanna move it somewhere, so you're gonna take it off. You're gonna take it off the wall. Take off also can apply to airplanes. So when the airplane starts to leave the ground, it's taking off. But take off also means to leave, not just for planes, but for people. So I can use this at work if it's five o'clock and I wanna say, guys, it's five o'clock, I'm gonna take off. I will see you tomorrow to take off. Number eight, to take a rain check, another expression. So this is great when you have been given an invitation to an event or maybe to um, go to a movie or for dinner. So if someone invites you somewhere, but you can't make it, maybe you have other plans or you're feeling tired, um, you have a lot of work to do, but you want to say thank you and you also wanna tell the person who has invited you that you want to do it at another time in the future. 
So if your friend was like, hey, you want to go see the movie tonight? You could say, no, I, you know what? I'll take a rain check. It means you want to do it in the future. Take a rain check. Number nine, take time off. So you could say, I'm taking some time off. Or you could say, I'm taking a week off or I'm taking a month off. It means you're taking a break or a vacation from work. So at Christmas, this is a true story, I am planning to take a couple of weeks off. I am going to take a vacation around Christmas time to spend my time with my friends and family. And number 10, to take your breath away. This is an expression that means to be beautiful or stunning. So when you see your friend on her wedding day and she looks gorgeous, you could say, wow, you really took my breath away. You look incredible. Or you see the sunset and you tell your friends, it was so beautiful, it took my breath away. So those are my 10 phrases with take. Make sure you pick one, two, or three of them and start using them in your everyday English. You'll sound more natural, more informal, and just kinda cooler. <laughs> so, and don't forget your free PDF with these plus 10 more phrases with take. And you also get some exercises so you can get your practice in. Just click the links below. This is Nessa on ESL Top 10, and I will see you right back here next week. Ah!